I didn't think I was. Um, I'm not rushing back to camp at all. We're just driving generally in that direction. And uh, it's a very bumpy road. We're going to have to try and stop and find something interesting to look at. Because driving along here is not interesting. Right, let's pull into the hippo pools. Now those vehicles full of people, the ones that we saw, have gone down towards the southern parts of the river. And so I think there's still quite a lot of action there. And that's where Craig and I are going to attempt to head this afternoon. Let's go down through here. It's very nice having this part of the reserve almost to ourselves though. Let's look down into the river here. This is a place called Hippo Pools and you can walk down through this croton thicket towards a little viewing deck where you can see hundreds and hundreds of hippos. Unfortunately we can't really see through there. But this position here, this point, is a very popular drinking spot for animals. And let's just have a look up the river. There's some Egyptian gooses. And there are some hippo there. You see the hippos? There they are. And then I will also tell you that there are a couple of carcasses floating around here, which wouldn't make the water taste particularly good if you're a human being. But this is down, it's a point where zebra often come and drink. And a point where we've seen zebra being taken out by the Paradise Pride from time to time because they lurk here waiting. Oh, there's also buffalo. Um, you see the very, very green tree there? Straight across, quite far. Uh, if you go down to the right from that, there's another greenish bush on the bank. And just to the left of the greenish bush, there's a buffalo. Zoom right, 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 right. There you go. Marvellous, well done. Now, Cat and Tampa, you're wondering about owls and whether we've seen any here. I've seen many, many owls normally on the roads at night when we've been driving home or driving around. And wonderful sound there. Grass owls, certainly. Eagle owls from time to time. Those are the main ones that I've seen. I've said this before, but I'll say it again. It is very, um, it's almost coastal, the wind that we get here, the amount of wind. Very seldom completely still. Then there's a grey heron lurking across the way on the little green bank. Otherwise, all is remarkably human-free, as the humans have followed the herds. And it gives you an impression, I guess, of what the animals must feel when the migration season ends. <laughs> it really is quite remarkable how silent it is and how peaceful it feels. Let's just go... Oh, what did it catch? A frog. I wonder what it's eating. Hang on. And then there's a common sandpiper, I think it's a common sandpiper, to the left of the heron. Frogs will form the bulk of the diet for these herons. Jeff, you're wondering about fish in this river and what kinds there are. Um, well, various kinds of tilapia, various kinds of catfish, um, various kinds of bream. I believe maybe yellowfish, and nobody's really sure if there are tigerfish here or not. I am no ichthyologist, so I'm afraid I really couldn't tell you further than what I have there. But if you go to the maratriangle.org, there's a very nice comprehensive bird, mammal, and I think there's a nice fish species list there as well. There are lots of different catfish species, definitely. Catfish species, not catfish. Which cat in Tampa, of course, will be very pleased to know. <laughs> 